Hello YouTube, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to show you how to update the firmware on your OSSC. What you'll need for this is a SD card. Pretty much any size will do. And a computer to burn a image onto the SD card. So let's start by finding out what firmware your OSC is currently on. As you can see on the screen it displays some information. The 0.89A refers to the current firmware that it's on. I believe the latest firmware available is 0 0.90. So we'll go ahead and update it to that. Okay, what we want to do now is download the 132 disk imager. I've put the link down below for you. So what to do is download and install that. While that's happening, head over to the other link and download the latest firmware for the OSSC. Depending on the model of OSSC you've got, it will either be audio or non-audio. The earlier versions were non-audio, and anything really from the past three or four years will be the audio one, but it's best to double check that beforehand. So I'm going to go ahead and download the audio.bin file. Okay, now that you've downloaded and installed Win32 Disk Imager and downloaded your update file, we'll start up Win32 Disk Imager. Make sure your SD cards you're going to be using is plugged in. And now we'll go and flash the image over to the SD card. So select the drive that your SD card is. Okay, now we'll, we'll locate where the, the image file is. If it doesn't show up, just select the extension down to that one and it should show up now. So just select that and click open. And now we're ready to write that, so we'll click write. Just make sure that you're on the correct drive before selecting this. So if you're on the correct drive, just click yes. Now that that's successfully on the SD card, we'll head back over to the OSSC and install the new firmware. The card slot in the OSSC is located just underneath the screen, so we'll put the card in there. Now that that's done, we'll power up the device. On your remote control, press the menu button. And scroll to settings. Until you find firmware, firmware update, press OK. Then press 1 for yes. And let it complete the update. Now restart as instructed. As you can see from the display, the firmware update has been a success. It's now showing firmware 0 0.90, which as today is the latest firmware. Thanks again for watching this video. I hope to see you soon. Bye.